What's up guys? Welcome back to Security Vultures for another one of our comparison reviews. And today we'll be comparing NordVPN and ProtonVPN. NordVPN and ProtonVPN are both large well-respected names in the VPN and privacy communities. With that being said, there was a very clear winner in this comparison. NordVPN remains one of the most popular VPNs in the world, boasting a large server network, premium speeds, and lots of privacy features. It routinely outperforms other VPNs with performance, features, and streaming capability. ProtonVPN comes from Switzerland with a focus on privacy and security, but with a smaller set of features, fewer servers, and a higher price, and of course, less access to popular streaming sites. Additionally, there was recently a data scandal involving Proton Mail, which is the sister company of Proton VPN with regards to logging user IP addresses. While we like and recommend both of these services, there was a clear winner in almost every category, guys. We'll take a deep dive into each of these categories while also showing the test results. And by naming a winner in each category, we hope to give you a fast way to identify the VPN that's worth your It is always attention. useful to know something about the background of any company you do business with. This is particularly important when you are dealing with private or otherwise sensitive information. While a VPN can prevent others from spying on your online activities, you need to be able to trust the VPN not to spy on you. And some have done exactly that in the form of sharing your information with third parties. For example, PureVPN shared information about a user with the FBI despite claiming to be a no-logs VPN. The same happened with IPVanish a few years ago. Given that, let's see what we can learn about the companies behind these two VPNs. NordVPN is one of the best known companies in the VPN industry. It is part of NordSec, a brand that includes NordVPN and two new products. The Secure Password Manager, known as NordPass, and the encryption cloud storage tool known as Nord Locker. This company has an excellent background and track record and has also passed third party audits. The audits were performed by PwC or better known as PricewaterhouseCoopers. NordVPN is strategically based in Panama, a strong privacy jurisdiction that is not part of any surveillance alliances. It also does not have any mandatory data retention or logging laws. Our NordVPN review has more information on the company background. ProtonVPN comes to us from the team behind ProtonMail. The parent company of ProtonMail and ProtonVPN is Proton Technologies, a well-respected company which is based in Switzerland. Similar to Panama with NordVPN, Switzerland is also a great privacy jurisdiction and is not part of any international surveillance alliances. Even before ProtonVPN was officially launched in 2017, ProtonMail had built up a strong following in the privacy community. It is one of the leading secure email services. Today, you can combine both ProtonMail and ProtonVPN under one complete subscription, but it is quite expensive as we'll cover soon. ProtonMail was also the subject of another logging controversy, unfortunately. It was found to be logging users for a criminal investigation as requested by law enforcement officers in France. In short, basically ProtonMail gave up logs on a user, then scrubbed their website of no IP logging claims, which is shady as hell in our honest opinion. In the Proton VPN review, we noted how Proton has a history of targeted logging against specific users based on Swiss court orders. This information was released in previous transparency reports, and it has also been called out by others. We also consider Panama for NordVPN to be a slightly better jurisdiction for privacy than Switzerland. Additionally, Proton VPN has a history of targeted logging of its users, which we do not see with NordVPN. So therefore, this category belongs to NordVPN. ProtonVPN has a very nice lineup of apps that are user-friendly and fully featured. The layout and design are great, and I also rec I really recommend and like the dark mode theme. In general, connections were pretty quick to establish, and there weren't any major issues. 
while Proton VPN is not the best VPN for computer PC, the desktop client still worked well in our tests. Proton VPN offers dedicated clients, apps for all major devices and operating systems, including Windows, Mac OS, Android, and iOS. There are also various startup and notification preferences you can customize within the actual Proton VPN client. In comparison, NordVPN also offers a nice lineup of secure apps clients for all major operating systems and devices. Here were my main takeaways from testing and reviewing the NordVPN clients on Windows and Mac OS. First off, fully featured, the NordVPN apps are loaded with features to include specialty servers, leak protection, and startup connection settings. Secondly, it's easy to use. Whether you are new with VPNs or a seasoned pro, you should find the NordVPN clients user-friendly and pretty much intuitive. Adjusting settings and selecting features is quite straightforward and simple. And lastly, secure. Aside from the strong encryption we discussed above, NordVPN also secures data with a kill switch. This blocks traffic or closes applications if the VPN connection drops for any reason. This category is a tie for both providers. Now is time that we should examine how both providers compare with each other in the features category. Proton VPN's network currently consists of 1,057 servers in 54 countries. This isn't particularly a large network, but it may be sufficient for your needs. Unfortunately, Proton VPN restricts servers to only premium subscription. In other words, you will need to pay for a plus or visionary subscription in order to have access to all servers. Basic users are locked out. This is different from NordVPN, which gives all users 100% access to all servers. The company claims that their network provides high speed connections for premium users. But in our tests with a plus account, we simply could not find a fast server, unlike our speed tests with NordVPN. The Proton VPN apps have useful privacy and security features, as we discussed before, such as a kill switch, auto reconnection to the network, DNS leak protection, and split tunneling on some of their apps. The secure core servers could also be considered a feature. These are just double VPN servers, similar to what NordVPN offers. However, one noteworthy difference from NordVPN is that Proton VPN secure core servers are located in high security data centers. For example, the Switzerland secure core servers are located in a former Swiss Army fallout shelter. Proton VPN is also launching a VPN accelerator feature that will be available for Windows, Mac OS, iOS, and Android devices. This may improve the slow speed situation. NordVPN has all the basic features we covered with Proton VPN, including built-in leak protection and kill switches on all of their VPN apps. One big difference from Proton VPN, however, is that NordVPN offers many advanced privacy features. They have apps for everything Proton VPN does and more. They even go a few steps above and beyond, supporting options such as Android TV, gaming consoles, and Raspberry Pi. Another big difference between Proton VPN and NordVPN is full WireGuard support. NordVPN has integrated the WireGuard protocol into their network in the form of the NordLynx VPN protocol. This is a privacy first implementation of WireGuard that uses a double NAT system to secure user IPs. NordVPN has servers in 60 countries worldwide and their network contains over 5,000 100 servers. The server number amounts to about five times the size of Proton VPN's network, with five more countries covered. And unlike Proton, the entire server network is available to all NordVPN users without any restrictions. Another difference between is that Nord offers numerous specialty servers for various use cases. Example, peer-to-peer -peer servers that are optimized for torrenting, we found these servers to be faster than the others and ideal for torrenting large files. Obfuscated servers that conceal VPN traffic as regular HTTPS encryption, thereby getting around blocks. These servers are useful if you need a VPN for China or Iran where VPNs are often blocked. 
Proton, in comparison, admits on its website that it is indeed blocked in China. Next up, we have Double VPN. Double VPN servers are similar to Proton Secure Core servers. And we have Tor over VPN servers that add an additional layer of encryption via the Tor network. Proton VPN also offers Tor over VPN servers, but again, these servers are restricted to only the most expensive subscriptions. One last feature to consider is CyberSec, which blocks ads, trackers, malware, and phishing domains. While Proton offers some useful features, NordVPN's large server network and specialty servers give it the edge. So the features winner is NordVPN. We ran all these speed tests with a 500 Mbps connection in our US lab. We tested servers in the United States and United Kingdom, as well as double VPN servers from each service. It's clear that NordVPN offers significantly faster speeds with the US servers we tested. For the UK region, NordVPN was more than 14 times faster than Proton VPN, nearly hitting 300 Mbps. This is really impressive, especially when you consider the high latency and long distance between my location and the VPN server. Now, as for the double VPN servers, NordVPN again outperforms Proton VPN by a large margin. The double VPN servers from NordVPN are significantly faster than the secure core servers from Proton. The speed test winner is therefore yet again NordVPN. Now let's move on to the streaming support for both providers. Unfortunately for Proton VPN in this category, they are competing with one of the very best VPNs for streaming today. NordVPN has the fastest network we've tested with a huge selection of streaming compatible servers around the world. Aside from Netflix, NordVPN is also great for Disney+, Hulu, BBC iPlayer, and more. They even offer a dedicated Amazon app if you want to use a VPN for Fire Stick. Proton VPN, however, has a few limitations in comparison to NordVPN. Here are the streaming drawbacks we found with Proton VPN. First, fewer streaming services are supported. Proton VPN only works with a limited number of services in comparison to NordVPN. For example, Proton VPN only supports about four different Netflix libraries, where NordVPN officially supports more than 10. Secondly, we have restricted servers. Proton VPN restricts streaming users to the most expensive accounts, Plus and Visionary. Basic users will not be able to access American Netflix unless they upgrade their accounts. And finally, limited support for streaming devices. Proton VPN also offers less support for streaming services. Proton VPN does not have a dedicated app for Fire Stick and is tricky to set up with smart TVs and other streaming devices. Therefore, NordVPN wins the streaming challenge by a large margin. What about torrenting? Can Proton VPN compete? NordVPN? NordVPN has a lot of advantages, such as large server network, dedicated P2P torrenting servers, and premium speeds. Proton VPN is a good VPN for torrenting, however, we found these drawbacks. Slower speeds, as we already noted, and Proton VPN also blocks some servers from torrent traffic and will automatically disable your connection if they detect torrent transfers. We've seen lots of complaints about this from Proton VPN users. Considering everything, Proton does not seem to be an ideal choice for torrenting. Therefore, NordVPN wins the torrenting challenge as well. Encryption and security are important factors to consider when selecting a VPN. Both providers have comparable levels of encryption and protocols. For their encryption, Proton uses AES-256 CBC and now also fully supports the WireGuard protocol. NordVPN clients also support Nordlynx protocols. It's a modified version of WireGuard, while also supporting IKEv2 on some operating systems. For their encryption, they use AES-256 GCM. NordVPN has also undergone the following third-party audits. A no-logs audit by PricewaterhouseCoopers. NordVPN is one of the handful of verified no-logs VPN services. 
a second Pricewaterhouse Coopers no logs audit covering regular obfuscated double VPN and peer to peer servers. This was completed in 2020 and an app and infrastructure audit along with ongoing penetration testing conducted by Versprite. Proton VPN has undergone a security audit conducted by SEC Consult. Unlike with NordVPN, Proton VPN has not had any outside audits to verify its no logs claims. Another important aspect is also server security guys. These two companies take different tax to providing security for their servers. NordVPN has converted all their servers to run in RAM disk mode. It is impossible to store any data on a server. This protects NordVPN users. Even if a server is seized by a third party, no data will be available. Another advantage with Nord server is that they are rolling out their own dedicated hardware. By deploying co-located servers rather than renting servers from third parties, NordVPN will have total control over hardware. I have not seen ProtonVPN announce similar plans. ProtonVPN touts their secure core initiative, which physically protects their core servers against access by third parties. But recall that secure core servers are still restricted to the most expensive subscription plans and the rest of the server network does not benefit. Therefore, the winner in this category is NordVPN. ProtonVPN would win this category against most VPNs, but NordVPN simply reigns supreme. Okay, now that you have a sense of what each VPN is like, let's see how much they cost and how it would be to get a refund if you change your mind. This gets a little confusing. ProtonVPN has four different price plans. The free plan is almost useless unless you just want to test the service. The basic plan at four euros per month could work if you won't be streaming blocked content or access the fast servers ProtonVPN offers. The plus plan, which they bill as their best deal, gives you five simultaneous connections and full access to all the VPN's feature. This plan will set you back at eight euros per month. The top tier here is a visionary plan, which gives you everything in the plus plan while supporting 10 simultaneous connections and giving you a Proton Mail visionary account. This plan has an extremely high price of 288 euros per year. That's kind of ridiculous in our honest opinion. Proton VPN offers a 30 day refund window, which is pretty standard in the VPN industry. Now, in contrast, NordVPN gives you full access to everything with every pricing plan. You simply score bigger discounts for longer subscriptions and a two year subscription costs only 84 euros. Just like with Proton VPN, all Nord plans come with a 30 day money back guarantee. Assuming you want access to all features and all servers, then Nord VPN offers much better prices and is the winner of this category as well. So now we have reached the conclusion of this comparison. While we don't know exactly what you plan to do with your VPN based on your own needs, we can compare both providers on three key characteristics that every user expects from their VPN, security, privacy, and speed. So how does Proton VPN compare to NordVPN? NordVPN is much faster. Both protect your privacy, but NordVPN offers more privacy features, diskless servers, and has two audits to verify its no logs claims. We here at Security Vultures have always liked Proton with its strong values and privacy focused VPN service. However, in direct comparison to NordVPN, it's clear to us that Proton has a lot of catching up to do. Tallying up the results of our test categories, we can see that NordVPN won with only one category being a tie. For most users, we would recommend NordVPN. It simply offers the best value for your money. Additionally, the lackluster performance with Proton VPN really prevents us from recommending this VPN. And while it may have a good reputation in the privacy community, it simply does not compete against other leading VPN services. So the overall winner is NordVPN. And that's it for this comparison, guys. Stay safe, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.